Hi everyone, so this is a short tutorial on how to use the new Bow Baby Newborn Actions. So I'm going to start just by removing this harsh light here. So I'm going to go to reduce harsh light, switch to my white brush. I'm going to switch my brush down to 50% opacity and I'm just going to mask that there. So literally wherever the harsh light is. And then with your brush being 50%, you can build it up as much as you like. So I'll turn that off and on. So you can see. Now with these actions, you don't have to flatten as you go along. You can just keep all your layers open. You don't have to flatten anything. So we've got our base actions here. So you can go darker and then you can mask off where you want the light lighter areas to come or let's turn that off we've got the base lighter so you can go lighter with your edit and again you can mask off where you don't um, want it to be too bright so again I've switched down to 50 percent so I'll turn it off and on Then we've got the colour base. So this is the warmer one. So I'm going to click that and show you. And don't forget you have got your opacity slider so you can change the opacity of that. You can bring it right down to zero and then bring it up bit by bit and see where you like that to fall. And I quite like there. You've also got cooler as well. Um, so I'm going to turn this one off and show you. But they are quite nice used together, um, those two actions. So if I'm going to turn this one back on and then click cooler again. So they are quite nice. Uh, it totally depends on the image um, that you're working on as well. I'm just going to switch to 40% and take a little bit of that shadow off that side of the face. However, we have also got lift the shadows. <laughs> Apologies for my cough. Um, I, I can't keep starting again because I'll be here all day. So we've got lift the shadows. So I'm going to switch my brush to my white brush. And then you just mask on wherever your shadows are quite harsh. And then you can mask on at 100% or use a lower opacity brush. Or you can use 100% opacity brush and use um, the opacity slider on the layer. Then we've got paint on darkness. So if you wanted to darken anywhere. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to switch to 20%. I'm just going to fill in that little lighter area there. So it's even. So I'll turn that off and on. And then we've got paint on light. So if you wanted to brighten anywhere. So let's brighten that teddy bear a little bit. So I'd use lower opacities for these actions. And then you can build that up. I've just switched to 50%. Just because I want to brighten this quite a bit. There we go. Okay. Then we've got uh, reduced harsh light, which we've already used. Bose blemishes. So I'm going to zoom in to baby's beautiful face. This baby was so awake the full session. I've never known a baby to stay awake as much as he did. So we've got bow Bose blemishes. I'm going to click that. Now this setting that it's on is usually pretty spot on. However, every image is different. So you want to turn both of these down and then you want to bring the radius up until the blemishes have been blurred away so i can still see some blemishes under the skin so let's go to 15. okay and then i'm going to bring this up here until we get texture coming back but if we get blemishes coming back like here we've gone too far so let's change that to nine change it to seven Let's go there, seven. So then using my white brush at 100% opacity, 
I'm going to mask that on the blemishes. So wherever there are any blemishes, just click around. The good thing about this one is you can actually paint on quite a bit of it rather than just click around. However, if there are any stubborn little marks that are not being removed with this method, click underneath both blemishes and flakes extra. And then we can just remove those little stubborn ones that didn't want to disappear with the other action. So this one you can't mask on, you've literally just got to click where the blemishes are and use a smaller brush as well. Okay, then we've got perfect smooth skin or extra smooth skin. So perfect smooth skin is nice and subtle, just gives that nice blended smooth skin, whereas extra smooth skin will give that extra smooth skin so when you've got a close-up if you want super smooth skin then use the extra smooth however if your image if your subject is further away from the camera i would recommend the perfect smooth skin because it's a little bit more subtle and it'll be a little bit stronger on those subjects that are further away but a close-up you can definitely get away with the extra if you like smooth skin lines. And again, don't forget about your opacity slider, so you can change the opacities. So this is extra smooth. I'll turn that off and on. And then we'll I'll show you uh, perfect smooth. So as you can see, it's not as strong and the layer is set at 100% whereas on the extra smooth it's set at I think it's 40% yeah 40% so you've got a look whoops you've got a bit of wiggle room there so if you wanted to turn it down or turn it up then you can do Okay, just getting little nostrils. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So I've got some texture coming through. So I'm going to leave that at 70%. Then we've got magic bow skin. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to mask on at 100% opacity. And then we'll change the opacity on the... Um, layer if we want to so this does smooth the skin a little bit as well so i'm going to turn that off and on i'm going to zoom out so you can see so let's change the opacity to about there and then i'm going to mask off the eyes so i'm going to zoom in uh, make my brush smaller sorry and then just mask off the eyes I'll turn that down a little bit more okay then we've got um magic bow pale skin so i do like to use a little bit of a mix of both um you can use one or the other definitely a good one as well is to use pale skin and then warm skin because that pale skin gives you a nice base i'm just going to switch my brush to 40 percent opacity and i'm going to mask on pale skin so you can see they look really nice together, these two actions. If I turn that off and on, you can see the difference there. Just gonna get in there where I've missed. And then again, if you wanted to change the opacity, you can do. Then we've got um, Magic Bow Dark Skin. This baby's not got dark skin so i'm not going to use it on this baby however i will do another tutorial using that then we've got skin pop 
So I'm going to mask this on at 40% opacity and we can always change the opacity on the layer if it's too much. So I'm going to turn that off and on. So that just really helps give that fine art skin a little pop. Okay, so then we've got warm skin. So if you wanted to warm baby up, we can warm baby up. Warm highlights, so any of these highlights, if they was cool, you could pay, mask that on and warm those up. Then we've got warm shadows, so you can warm the shadows if your shadows are on the cool side. Then we've got um, bow blush, so I'm going to click that. I'll mask it on around 30% and just build it up. And then we can turn that off and on. You can see that little bit of colour in the cheeks now. And you can build it up as much as you want. And then you can always add another layer if you wanted it a little bit um, harsher. Or you can even go into, so if you click here and go into properties and then you can add a little bit more red if you wanted it um, a little bit harsher. You can even go into the shadows and add a little bit more there into the highlights and add a little bit more there it really depends on the image you can see that this side is really pink now so i'm going to switch to 50 percent and just take 50 percent off that side a little bit off there as well okay then we've got soft pout so you can just mask that on the lips give that nice subtle red then we have newborn glow so I'm going to click that I don't think I would necessarily use it on this image but I'm going to show it you in action anyway oh, I quite like it anyway so I'm going to turn that off and on so newborn glow is very different to um, any other glow skin glow action we've got it's a lot softer for that newborn skin love that okay i'm going to leave it there at 34 percent then we have um the bow and more paint on so this is a really nice action this will bring some texture and clarity back into this skin and really give it that sharpness so if i turn that off and on you can see the difference there so you can see that beautiful texture in the skin lovely lovely okay then i'm just going to come up here actually and lift the shadows a little bit so i'm going to go at 40 percent just on this side of the face and then i'm going to turn that down a little bit so it's not full So it's about playing around with the opacities as well and seeing where your sweet spot is. Okay, so now we have uh, soft in the spotlight. This is going to brighten this image. I will show it you, but um, it is going to brighten it too much. But this basically just puts a little spotlight right in the centre. Let's mask that off, baby. Oh! I forgot there's no layer mask. So if you want to mask it off, then just add a layer mask, really simple, and mask off. However, you shouldn't really need to add a layer mask. So if you need to add a layer mask, I wouldn't use the action, personally. But you can see it just adds a little soft spotlight in the centre. Then we've got reduced reds. So I'm going to click that and switch to my white brush and just mask that on the little red areas so i'm gonna go back to my reduce harsh light i'm at 40 percent opacity i'm just gonna mask a bit of that on the nose around the eyes and then i'm just gonna turn it down a bit turn that off and on down a tiny bit more there we go okay 
now i'm going to go to so we've got reduce reds extra so if you've got super red baby then you can come in with your reduced reds extra let's just remove some of the red from it so i'm switching to 20 percent i'm just taking a little bit of red away from there okay come back up to the top so we've got reduce purples and reduce jaundice and the yellows then we've got sharpen details so i'm going to click that and i'm going to zoom in so if baby was asleep which this baby did not want to do i would sharpen along the lash line with a nice small brush and i would do that around 50 percent and then we can just get in the little lips and you can always do the eyes as well then we have let's go so we've got desaturate so we can desaturate the image a little bit and use your opacity slider so i'm going to leave it there 26 percent then we have smooth the backdrop so this action is magic i'm going to click it this action will only work if you have access to select subject if you don't don't worry we've got a smooth backdrop extra there i'm going to hit continue okay so now i'm on my layer i'm going to use a hundred percent opacity brush so i'm masking on but however this is magic because look at that i'm masking all over the baby literally all over look the whole thing is white then you can just switch to your black brush if you've gone over and we can just take a little bit back from around there and around here so we've got nice smooth backdrop so this is nice subtle smooth and then we've got extra so i'm going to click that now this isn't going to do any magic it's going to smooth the backdrop which is magic enough but it's not going to uh, cut your subject out for you so i'm going to switch to my white brush and i'm just going to mask around so that was smooth backdrop more however if you wanted to completely fade that away so i'm going to turn this off a minute so if you wanted to fade that away i would do that um with a brush so i'm going to add a new layer and then i'll come to a background layer hold option or alt and select color from the backdrop and then at 100 percent just fade that in and again come to the layer here select color from the backdrop and fade that in so simple but this action here did the base work for you so then we're going to go to the finishing action so there's quite a few to choose from that are 12 they won't work perfectly on every single image it really depends on the image i mean i pulled up one image last night and it worked perfect on every every single finishing action looks absolutely gorgeous on it however when you've got lighter images it can they all look a bit different so it's just about using the opacities and picking your favorite for that image so this is number one and this is my favorite one and it works beautiful on darker images really beautiful just turn that off and on that's with the opacity down to 27 but you can play with the opacity turn it up and down it's a nice boho um look when you're doing that kind of style so i'll turn that off then we've got number two so again this one would work better on um darker images but turn it off and on it still looks nice okay then we've got number three i'm 
And again, this one on a darker image. But when you turn the opacity down, I mean, you can totally get away with this on a um, lighter image. I would mask off the eyes. Then number four. So again, turn the opacity down. And sometimes you can turn it. So if I turn that to 100%, that looks awful. <laughs> really bad. But I turn the opacity down and that looks really nice. Okay, so don't forget to play with your opacities. So let's go to number five. And a couple of them do take a little minute to play because they are doing a lot. Again, play with your opacity. It's nice warmth. Then we've got number six. So this gives the image a really soft look. Turn that off and on. And then again, opacity down. So you've got that soft, creamy look. Then we've got number seven. There are 12 of these. <laughs> so that's nice and bright. And again, you can don't forget you've got your layer mask as well. So you can use your opacity slider to turn it down or um, put that wherever you want it. Then you've got your layer mask. So you can switch to your black brush. I would mask off at a low opacity. So no more than 50% and then just mask a little bit off so you can get that pop back on the baby's face well that looks really nice on that one so that's number seven then we've got number eight let's turn this down i love that then we've got number nine and i'm sure everyone will find the favorite finish for their their work so I'll turn that down to 26 percent love that one a little bit then we've got number 10 so that's nice and bright we can turn it down a little bit and again you could go in with your harsh light action and mask off that harsh light if you really love the look of this image so let's let's do that actually so let's come up and then we've got reduce harsh light so the the light is quite harsh i'm going to switch to a hundred percent opacity and mask that off where that where that light is harsher and then with 50 percent, i'm just going to mask a bit off the face and then you can always use the opacity slider and bring that back a little bit let's group those together and turn that off and on love that really nice and creamy love that then we have that was number nine wasn't it let me just double check no that was number 10. so the last two 11 and 12 give a really nice soft matte to the image so this is 11 so this is a white matte and you can again use your opacity slider and then we've got number 12 which is more of a peachy color so i'll give those creamy tones then we have the black and whites so we've got number one so this one's a little bit gritty lovely on them dark images absolutely gorgeous then we've got number two love that one on this so again they won't all work on each image you've got to find the action that works best on your image i really love that one and then again i will just bring that harsh light down a little bit some of these actions just brighten within the action so it's just bringing that bright back, brightness back up which you have to just bring back down then we've got number four and don't forget you have got your base darker as well which um would also work love that one then we've got number five lovely okay then the last couple of actions we've got 
matte and dark matte so you can use that on black and white or you can use it on color so that's matte and then we've got dark matte which i actually really love on this image and don't forget you've got your opacity slider i'm going to switch to my black brush at 40 percent and mask a little bit off here and then at 100 percent and mask off the eyes so those eyes are nice and focused and then i'm going to come back to number 12 i think lovely oh let's try number 11 I'm going to use number 12 and then number 11 and turn the opacity down. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to flatten all of that out. And then I'm going to go to history and take a snapshot. Now I did crop the image before, so that will be on. The only thing I did was crop. So let's just crop that in so we can see. A true before and after so this is before and after before and after using the new newborn actions I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and i really hope you enjoy your actions can't wait to see your images using them take care everyone